Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simplify fractions that are related with different mathematical operations. Children need to be coached on this because there are certain rules that specify which mathematical operation to begin with. We have three problems here that we want to simplify. And you can see they are connected with different operations. In our previous lesson, we have simplified so many fractions that are related with the same operation. So this rule, we have a rule of board mass and PEMDAS, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be using board mass. B stands for bracket. O stands for orders. D stands for division. M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. But the rule said division and multiplication are done simultaneously from the left to right, starting with the one that comes first. If you see multiplication before division, you start with multiplication and vice versa. The same thing, Addition and subtraction are done simultaneously from left to right, starting with anyone that comes first. If you see subtraction before addition, you begin with subtraction and vice versa. So now let us begin with this. We have 3 over 2 of 1 over 3 plus 4 over 7 times 7. We can even rationalize this 7 as 7 over 1 because 7 over 1 is still 7. Following this rule, we have bracket. Therefore, we have to begin with 1 over 3 plus 4 over 7 because there are the fraction under the bracket. So first, this bracket is absent here. We have to begin with orders, which we have off is part of orders. Okay. These fractions have different denominators. For convenience, let us transform them in such a way they will have the same denominator. And the LCM of these 3 and 7 is 21, so we are going to convert them into 21. So we have 3 over 2 of... To change this into 21, we have to multiply it by 7. For equivalency, we have to multiply the top number by the same value. 7 times 1 is 7, 7 times 3 is 21, plus, to change this into 21, we have to multiply it by 3, and we have to do the same to the top number. 4 times 3 is 12, over 21, multiplied by 7 over 1. This is equal to 3 over 2 of 7 plus 12 is 19 over 21 times 7 over 1. We have cleared the bracket, then we move to the next one, order. We have off here, and this off is the same thing as multiplication. So this becomes 3 over 2 multiplied by 19 over 21 multiplied by 7 over 1. So you can see the operations we have left, they are of the same kind, multiplication. So we can just multiply the top numbers and the bottom numbers separately. But for convenience, let us reduce them to their lowest terms. You can see 7 here can go into 7 one time and 7 can go into 21 three times. So this is equal to uh, 3 times 19 is 57. 57 times 1 is still 57. Here we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So now let us reduce it to the lowest term. 57 divided by 3 is 19. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2. This is our final answer because 19 and 2 do not have any common factor. But still we can reduce it 
into a mixed number. Therefore, we can say, oh, 2 can go into 19 nine times. But we have a remainder of 1 out of 2. So this, either this or this, this is an improper fraction. This is a mixed number. Let us move on to the next one. <clears throat> the next question, you can see we have two brackets separated by a negative sign. So it means we are going to subtract the whole of this bundle from this. But all of them are brackets because we have bracket first. So bracket doesn't specify whether we should start from the right bracket or the left bracket. We can do them simultaneously. So we have two. Let us convert their denominators into the same value. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12 because 12 is the smallest number in which 3 and 4 can go into without remainder. So to change this into 12, you have to multiply it by 4. You have to do the same to the top number. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. The LCM here is 15. To change 5 into 15, you multiply it by 3. Do the same to the top number. 3 over 15 plus, to change this to 15, multiply it by 5. Do the same to the top number because 5 times 2 is 10. So we are, we are now free to simplify these brackets. This plus this is 11. So we have 11 out of 12 minus this plus this is 13 out of 15. So this is what we have left. We want to subtract 13 over 15 out of 11 over 12. Let us convert them into the same denominator. Um, let us change them into 60. To change this one into 60, you have to multiply it by 5. We have to do the same to the top number. 11 times 5 is 55 over 60 minus, to change this into 60, you have to multiply it by 4. 13 times 4 is 52 and uh, this times 4 is 60. This is equal to 55 minus 52 is 3 out of 60. But 3 can go into 3 one time, so we can reduce this one. And 3 as well can go into 60 20 times. So our final answer is 1 over 20 because you cannot reduce this one into a mixed number because this is a proper fraction. Remember, you can only convert uh, improper fraction into a mixed number. So now let us take the last one. So here is the last one. You see we have combination of mixed numbers uh, and a fraction. Using the same principle of board mass, we have to start with bracket which is absent here. Orders is also absent. Division and multiplication, you see we have a multiplication and division, I told you. You always start with the one that comes first. And lastly, you see we have subtraction. But for convenience, let us transform these mixed numbers into improper fractions. You take this denominator and multiply it by a whole number. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So we have 19 out of 3. Our multiplication sign, 2 times 6 is 12, then 12 plus 1 is 13 out of 2. Our division sign, 4 times 9 is 36, 36 plus 3 is 39. So we have 39 over 4. And the last one, minus 5 over 9. So from the rules, division and multiplication are done simultaneously. 
from left to right. But remember, division can also be converted into multiplication by taking the reciprocal of the next term there. So this becomes 19 over 3 multiplied by 13 over 2 multiplied by, then you take the reciprocal, we have 4 over 39. Just flip it over. Put parentheses here because we are dealing with this one first, minus 5 over 9. Since we have two operations of the same kind, we are free to multiply the top numbers and the bottom numbers together. But for more simplicity, we can reduce them to their lowest terms. 13 here can go into 13 one time, and 13 can go into 39 three times. 2 here can go into 2 one time, and 2 can go into 4 two times. So nothing else can go. What we have left is 19 times 1 times 2, which is equal to 38. And from the denominator, we only have 3 times 3, which is 9. And we have our 5 over 9. 38 over 9 and 5 over 9 have the same denominator. We are free to subtract the numerator. 38 minus 5 is 33 over 9. 3 can go into 33 11 times. 3 can go into 9 3 times. We can still reduce this to a mixed number because 3 can go into 11 3 times. But what do we have left? Remember, 3 times 3 is 9. We have a remainder of 2 out of 3. So either this or this is the same thing. Just that they are written in different form. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Thank you.